All right, now I finally got it on. All you do is you just push it on until you uh, get there. It's probably not a bad idea to cut off some of the excess wire you don't need. Now, here's the next tricky part you got to deal with. As you might have suspected from all the stretching, are holes that used to fit in here perfectly. I don't know if I showed you that earlier, but it fits in there perfectly. But now it's been stretched, so it doesn't fit so nice anymore. And you're going to be asking, well, how do we fix that? Well, I'll tell you the truth. I don't really have a good solution for that. My solution, though, what I've been doing is uh, taking my... Let me adjust the camera here. Vaseline and kind of spread it on this chunk of hose let me look on the camera here right. run it up so it gets on better not that it really matters since it's cutting it anyway and you take this or whatever it's a uh... I use this in one of my other tutorials to make uh make a uh, make let me think uh, why can't I think of the name of it, it. oh yeah it was a uh, gasket I made for the same truck doing a similar You just got to work it on here. See how that's kind of shaving that outer layer of rubber off? That's what you want. And this particular uh, punch is just the right probably shouldn't have slaughtered it with so much stuff this happens to be just the right uh, size I'll put some gloves on so I can grip it better I just thought I'd show you guys how to do this because it is difficult, I am not going to lie. And it would have helped me if I would have had somebody show me. So I didn't think there was a video out there. So I figured I'd make a nice video for you guys. See how it's done. Now this is the cheap fix. If you're fortunate enough to have the money or whatever just spend it and get the real deal because doing this job absolutely sucks and you don't have to do it like it's not like you do it once like what I'm gonna do for this video you have to do it six times so it is pretty labor intensive sorry I can't see much you can see what I'm doing. I'm peeling that back. And if you don't have the tools to do this, I recommend you buy them. You will not regret it. Because you, because you need these tools for so much stuff. If you're a do-it-yourselfer like me. I like to pull that off so I can see where I'm at. Now the problem is, uh, 
because of this hole in the back is smaller you can only go on there so far I'll show you what I do for that here as soon as I think I've reached my limit which is soon I don't know how much good the lube does, but I figured, I figure it doesn't hurt none. Alright, can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, that's a little easier. I'll just do a little more cutting until I can't. cut it no more I think this spark plug wire set was about 25 or 30 bucks at Napa so it is significantly cheaper than 50 bucks a pop but like I said if you're fortunate enough to have the money unlike me just do the do yourself a favor spend the money and get the real thing because it is challenging so yeah, I will admit you learn a lot try not to oh I'm sitting on it that's the deal and yes then I whittled some off not the best, best method in the world, but it does help. You don't have to be perfect just to get the majority of it off. Oh boy, someone's shooting a 22. Oh well, glad not in Detroit. But yeah, I recommend you wear long pants when you're doing this to reduce your chances of getting cut. But it's pretty warm out today, so I'm not. And I figured I'm doing this at my own risk. And I can... I have some first aid knowledge, so I can always patch myself up. No big deal. Yeah, it's a little rough, but that might be good enough. And you take your spark plug and you put it on. And as you can see, it fits about perfect. Now you can adjust this, adjust the length and everything. But, and that's it for making your own spark plug wires for uh, an R a Continental R6602 engine so um, that's it and here's another wire I did earlier just in case you wanna you would like to see it now I didn't do the boot thing on the back side because there is no boots uh, in this particular kit for the back side the boots that do come with it um, uh, suck because they don't have this long uh, tube on them so I couldn't do that which would have been nicer but this should do and I would ideally like it longer to reduce the uh, reduce the uh, bending and torquing on the thing but 
it's a lot of work. So, and I guess that's it. So, uh, till next tutorial. Bye.